Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to English class. This is English for seventh grade. Welcome back to school. Dear students, the COVID-19 pandemic has created many changes in our life. In this phase, our focus is adjusting to our new environment and ensuring everyone is well. We teachers and principals are reaching out and connecting with the students and families, making the learning at home more efficient to keep your learning. The online resources are being updated regularly, so we encourage you to check and complete the task, assignment, and speeches on time in order not to affect your grade. The school community um, is committed to ensuring students can succeed despite the challenges posed by the current global pandemic. All of us care about you. I know that our learning might be different, but we are still here and we will get through this together. Be well, sincerely, Sabi Vega, your teacher. Welcome to the English course. I will share with you my screen because there are some important information I want to share with you. So just in one minute, the screen is going to appear and you will see what do I have here. This is the platform of Instituto Laboral Nueva Luz. David, this is for seventh grade. In this section, you have the description of the course. In here, you can see the message that we have for you. I will start reading for you. This part is in Spanish and English too. Queridos estudiantes, bienvenidos a esta nueva aventura que los acercará cada vez más a su objetivo final. Espero que este curso se pueda desarrollar de manera exitosa y que juntos logremos los aprendizajes esperados. Para mí es un gusto poder acompañarles y guiarles en este proceso. Para preguntas y consultas acerca de las asignaciones, estaré en el WhatsApp todos los jueves de 2 a 6 de la tarde para aclarar sus dudas. Recuerden enviar mensajes de texto a mi número de teléfono, el 6719-9046, los jueves de 2 a 6 p.m. Esta es la materia de inglés. Yo soy la profesora Sabi Vega. Iniciamos este curso el 3 de abril y lo terminaremos el 19 de junio del 2021. Las clases en vivo son los días sábados de 11 de la mañana a 12 p.m. Dear students, welcome to this new journey that will allow you increasingly to your final objective. I hope this course can be developed successfully and we can achieve the expected learning together. It is a pleasure for me to be your guide in this process. If you have questions, let me know, please. Never stop trying. These are the general objectives. Understand some concepts we build with in everyday context. Develop linguistic skills that allow the participation in communicative situations. Feel confident when expressing feelings and ideas. We have some uh, specific objectives too. Use greetings and polite expressions appropriately. Tell his or her own personal information easily. Talk about family members and the role of a family in the society. Show tolerance uh, of multicultural population in Panama. Understand the importance of good nutrition habits. Talk about sickness that cause bad nutrition. Describe popular sports. Discuss ways to preserve natural resources. This uh, course is divided into three units. Each unit has a lesson. Le unit one, lesson one, greetings, farewells, and polite expressions. We use an English module as a uh, aid to help us understand the content that we have here. In lesson number two, we have the alphabet and numbers. Lesson number three, family members and relatives. Lesson number four, occupation, family members, duty in the society. In the unit number two, we have three lessons. Lesson number one, countries and nationalities. Lesson number two, the food pyramid. Lesson number three, healthy and unhealthy foods. On unit number three, we have three more uh, lessons. Lesson number one, sports. Lesson number two, natural resources. And lesson number three, endangered species in Panama. This is the content that will be covered during the whole trimester, okay? Uh, if we talk about the activities and the methodology, you know there are individual work, group work, question and answer, conversation, paragraph, practices, forums, etc. Okay, uh, you will have available all right resources here in the Instituto 
eh, laboral, Nueva Luz, you have your platform, you have the task, you have the resources here, and also you have the module, the instructional module. All, uh, you can uh, participate in the live class every Saturday from uh, 11 to 12. Uh, in order to evaluate the content, uh, there are some criteria that we need to take into consideration, like spelling, punctuality, quality, coherence, um, capitalization, punctuation, everything related to the evaluation series. Uh, the evaluation is divided in different parts. The first part is the individual work. This is 15 percentage. The group work is 15 percentage. The midterms, the midterms are speeches, but the speeches are written, so you have 20 percentage. The final test is 30 percentage. You have to complete with the uh, self evaluation and the co evaluation. The first evaluation this is 10 and 10 percentage for a total of 100. So you have the information here. Uh, you can check here the agenda to know more uh, announcements. This is what I read already for you. And uh, you have here work. In this part, you will see the task. You can click on here and you will see the availability of the task, the instructions, the description, and everything, okay? We will discuss this by the end of this uh, presentation. Now, it is time to start with our topic. For today, we are going to talk about greetings. Yes, we are going to learn uh, the formal and informal greetings that we use in English and the way how you can introduce yourself to your friends. This is class number one, English for seventh grade, and I am Sabi Vega, your English teacher. Let's share this interesting video about greetings. Okay, greetings. Greetings in English. You know the most common ones, right? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. But we need to learn about the time of the day. We have a.m., that is morning, p.m., that is afternoon. But there are some numbers here. These numbers represent the time. Yes, the clock. When is the morning? When is the afternoon? When do I have to use good evening? Or when do I have to use good night? It also is affected by the song. Look at this star. This is the sun. We have different times during the day. We have the sunrise. We have the day. We have the sunset. 
and we have the night. You use hi, that is an informal greeting, or the other form, hello. Those are common greetings for any time of the day. So you can use hi or hello in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, or at night. You can use hi and hello when you are with your friends. Good night is only used when it is going to sleep or sleep. Good night is a goodbye. So it means that you are going to bed and sleep. Let's learn more about greetings now. Time of the day. Hmm. The day has 24 hours. 24 hours. How do we divide the day? Okay, let's see. We have morning. It is when we have the sunrise till midday. So it is 12 o'clock. Then the afternoon starts. Then we have the sunset and we have the dusk. That is around 6 o'clock. So from 12 to 6 o'clock, it is the afternoon. So we say good afternoon. But it is 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Till any hour at night, you say good evening. Good evening. During midnight, of course, and if you are sleepy, you are going to sleep, you say good night. The morning is this whole one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning. All this is the morning. Okay? So we have to be careful. Afternoon from 12 to 6 or 5. And evening is from 7 p.m. to 9 or 10. Those are evening. That's the difference between afternoon and evening. So the day is divided in different parts. Okay, let's check the parts of the day with time. Morning, you can say good morning from 2 a.m. to 11.59 in the morning. The early morning, of course, is at 2 a.m. to 5.59 a.m. That's the early morning. Down is around sunrise. Morning starts like 6 p.m. to 8.59. The late morning is from 9 a.m. to 11.59 a.m. The noon, that's the 12 o'clock in the clock. 12 o'clock, that's noon. If we have 12.01, that's the afternoon, until 5 p.m., that's good afternoon. The late afternoon starts like a 4 or 5. The evening starts at 5.01 p.m. till 11 p.m. Then you use good evening. The early evening, those are the previous hours, is like 5.01 p.m. to 7 p.m. We have the dusk, that is the, around sunset, the evening from 5.01 p.m. to 9 p.m. and the late evening at 9.01 to 10.59 p.m. Then we have the night. At night, it starts at 11 p.m. That's till sunrise. Then we have the midnight, that is 12 o'clock. So that means the clock goes around. 12 o'clock a.m. and the middle of the night is around sunset. So the most important parts are here. Morning, evening, afternoon, and night, of course. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I will share with you another video greeting. about greetings. Are you 
Someone is knocking at the door. Sorry for the interruption. Profe, una pregunta. Eh, ¿Eso hay que copiarlo? No. ¿Es un video? Yes. Ah, ok. Okay, now let's practice. Activate your microphones and repeat, please. Hello? Repeat, hello? It's time to practice pronunciation. You can practice at home. Wait. Okay, we were here. Okay, hello. Let's repeat at home. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you? It's nice to meet you. It's lovely to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. These are formal greetings, formal. You use when you meet someone for the first time or you are talking to a person you don't know. Hey, hi, morning, how are things? How is going? What's up? What's new? Long time to see, it's good to see. Those are more informal. And you use them with people are close to you or your friends. Let's see this on a conversation. Ah, uh, yes, 
I can't imagine. Where are you going now? I'm on my way to the cafe. Would you like to join me? Sure. That would be nice. A greeting. Okay, we saw some examples of greetings. In your English model, you have a list of greetings, okay? So you will have the content for you. If you want to take notes, that's okay, right? So here we have some greetings examples. Hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. These are used depending on the time of the day that I explained before. How do you do? How are things going on? What's new? What's up are like more informal ways to say hello. Also, in your English module, you will have some polite expressions. This help you to communicate with someone. For example, if you want to say, uh, if someone give you something, you want to say, thank you. Thank you, thank you. In order to show gratitude, you say, thank you. If someone asks you, how are you? You answer, fine, I'm fine, thank you. I'm okay. Then when you meet someone, you say, oh, it's nice to meet you. And then you shake hands, like in the picture. It's nice to meet you, nice to meet you. You are welcome. You're welcome, or I'm sorry, excuse me, or please. Those are very, very useful, polite expressions in English. Farewells. Okay, we see when you meet the person for the first time. What happens if you want to leave? Okay, I'm leaving. Bye-bye. A farewell is a goodbye. That's another word for farewell, a goodbye. So how do you say goodbye to people in English? You can use expressions such as, see you tomorrow, see you soon. If it is night, good night, see you later, bye. Catch you later if you are with your friends, take care. There are formal and informal. Formal way to say goodbye, goodbye. Informal way, catch you later, take care, see you later. A farewell is a goodbye. So we learn about greetings at the beginning or at the end of the conversation. But what happens when you are meeting people in English? You need more information. You need to share more information to keep the conversation longer. So let's watch video to reinforce the content of greetings. <gasps> Okay, here we have a dialogue. Uh, we have David and Erbina. Okay, listen, and then we are going to practice. Hi, my name is Michael Ora. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry, what's 
the last name again? It's Miller. Okay. David, ¿me escuchas? David. Nelervina. Sí, profe. Okay. David, you are going to be Michael. Okay? Yo voy a ser mm -hmm. Jennifer. Okay. okay. Vamos a practicar. Vamos a practicar. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, repeat. Hi. Repetimos. Hi. Hi. My name is. My name is. David Pinilla. David Pinilla. I'm Sabi Vega. Then you say, it's nice to meet you. Uh, it's it's nice, nice to meet you. To meet you. Sabi. Okay. Nice to meet you too. Then you say, repeat, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's your last name again? What's what? your what? No. last name? Last name. Again? Okay. It's Vega. Thank you. Very good. Excellent, David. Fantastic. Okay. Now we have here a second conversation. Judy and David. Okay, uh, we have here Nerelvina. Nerelvina. Let's practice, Nerelvina. Hola. Okay, Nerelvina. Hi, Nerelvina. Vamos, tú eres la B y yo soy la A. Hi, Nerelvina. You say hello. Hello, Sabi. Repeat. Hello. Hello, Sabi. Hello, Sabi. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Tú eres la B. Very well. Thank you. Very well. Thank you. Where are you going? I'm going. I'm going to my friend's house. To my to my friend's, friend's house. Okay. Friend. Take care. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> Let Elvina, you say goodbye. Take care. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. 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 Okay, here we have some useful expressions. You can find this in your English module, okay? This is in your English model. You have the list of useful expressions here. This is on page 12. Useful expressions. Then repeat with me. Have a nice day. And you have the meaning in Spanish. Que tengas un buen día. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Ha a nice day. Day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. God bless you. Dios te bendiga. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Have a nice day. God bless you. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Que tengas un lindo día o un fin de semana agradable. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Please repeat. Por favor, repita. Please repeat. Please repeat. Be careful. Be careful. Cuídate. Oh, my God. Oh, Dios mío. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is an exclamation. Here we have another group of expressions in English. Put everything away. Quita todo de aquí o guárdalo todo dentro de la mochila. Put everything away. 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 Could you explain again? 
podría explicarlo de nuevo, teacher? Could you, could you, could you explain again? Could you explain again? Of course, por supuesto que sí. Of course. Let's call the roll. Pasemos lista. Let's call, let's call the, let's call the roll. Let's call the roll. Abre la puerta. Open. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Cierra la puerta. Close. Close the, close the door. Close the door. ¿Puedo ir al baño? May, may I go? May I go to? May I go to the? May I go to the bathroom? ¿Puedo ir al baño? May I go to the bathroom? May I go to the bathroom? ¿Puedo ir al baño? Don't waste your time. No pierdas tu tiempo. Don't, don't waste, don't waste your, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. No pierdas tu tiempo. Come to the board. Come, come to, come to the, come to the board. Pasa el tablero. Come to the board. Are you sure? ¿Estás seguro? Are you sure? Hmm. Are you sure? Are you Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm thirsty. Tengo mucha sed. Tengo sed. I am. I am thirsty. I am thirsty. Tengo sed. How is everything? ¿Cómo va todo? How? How is? How is everything? How is everything? ¿Cómo va todo? And this is the last set of expression. Help me, please. Ayúdame, por favor. Help, help, help me. Help me, please. Tell me, please. No sé. I don't know. Ooh. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Te extraño. I miss you. I. I miss, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. Apúrate, date prisa, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Same to you, igualmente, likewise, those are two expressions, same to you, igualmente, likewise means igualmente, las dos significan igualmente, I can use likewise. Oh, que tengas un gran día. Likewise. Have a nice day. Likewise. Have a nice day. The same to you. Have a nice day. Likewise. Tómalo con calma. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Tómalo con calma. So, those are very useful expressions for you to learn in English. Now, let's talk about the task. What is a task? If you play video games, you will know that a task is a tarea. Yes. What is your task? In your English module, you have that page. Hello and goodbye. What do you have to use? You have a word bank. You have the word goodbye. How do you do? Hi. Good morning. Sorry. Yes, please. Good night. Fine. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. You are welcome. Thank you. Those are examples of greetings. Yes. What do you have to do? You have to write and complete the speech bubble with the words from the word bank. Complete the conversations with the words from the word bank. Okay? The speech bubble. This is your task. Thank you. Do you have any question? Do you have any question? Ah, we have more people here. Casey Caballero. Okay. Is that your name? Casey Caballero? Hi, teacher. Yes. Hello, Casey. 
Casey, are you modula, modular or visual? Uh, virtual. Okay. I haven't seen you. Okay, that's good. So let's practice. I will okay. start like uh, asking you some questions and mm, then yeah. you answer. Okay. Casey, what's your name? My name is is Casey Fernandez. Oh, Casey Fernandez. Yes. Casey, where do you live? Uh, what? Where do you live? My live is uh, David. Oh, I live in David. Very good, yes. Casey. Merelvina Hooker, hello. Hi. Nerelvina, hi. Si yo te digo, Nerelvina, good morning, how do you answer? Si alguien te saluda con good morning, ¿cómo respondes? Good morning. Hi. Nerelvina, if, you, if I say good morning, how do you answer? Okay, uh, David, David, okay, si te saludo diciendo, good evening, I'm sorry, I know. Oh, there's so much noise. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's a lot of... Don't worry, don't worry. So let's continue. The dog is barking. The dog is barking too much. Ok, the dog is barking too much. El perro está ladrando mucho. Vamos a dejarlo que se tranquilice. I will present to you a video about Easter. You know, we are celebrating a special date. And this special date is Easter. Vamos a ver cómo, un video de cómo se celebra uh, Pascua en otros lados del mundo. So this is the video I will share with you. I'll be sharing. I will present, uh, I will share my screen with you again. Okay. Easter is a very important festival in Great Britain. Easter Day is always on Sunday, and it is in spring. The wish for this day is Happy Easter. There are many symbols and interesting traditions on this day. The Easter Bunny. The symbol of Easter is an Easter Bunny, a happy rabbit with a basket of chocolate eggs. He brings these eggs to children on Easter Sunday. On Easter Sunday morning, children look for the eggs. It's a very exciting Easter event. For this season, chocolate bunnies and Easter eggs are very popular in Great Britain. Children have a basket to collect their eggs during the Easter egg hunt. painting. In 
Very interesting, right? 